Welcome back to Create, Connect, Repeat. My name is Nick Finzer, and today we're talking about why you need to figure out who you want to be. As a musician, I think there's a lot of things that you can try to be. There's a lot of different parts of the industry that you can participate in, not only just playing in general. I mean, you can be a generalist, you can do everything, but you can also be very specific that you want to play in a certain kind of music or you want to play in a certain kind of setting. Uh, I think at this point, in terms of being a freelancer, you have to be able to do everything if you want to be a freelancer. So thinking about yourself in a global setting, being to fit into every single situation is really important. However, if you're extremely passionate about being an artist, creating your own voice, doing your own music, contributing on the highest level to the highest artistic projects, you need to really be obsessed with trying to figure out how to get your technique up to a level where you can start to pursue your own voice in the music. If you want to be a multi-instrumentalist, you have to start to figure out what does that mean. Does that mean? If you were trying to play on Broadway, for example, if you're a reed player or a trombonist or whatever, you need to figure out the doubles that you need to know and really start to sort that stuff out. The thing that I like to tell my students is that whatever the one thing is that you are super passionate about or whatever the things are that you're passionate about, there is someone in New York and I could list people, we could talk about people, but I just, I know it's the truth that with every little tiny sub niche for example of trombone playing that there's someone who's obsessed with that little thing whether it's horn section playing or early dixieland jazz or modern playing or broadway stuff or commercial stuff or studio stuff or movie stuff or playing bass and tenor and alto or playing classical stuff you know you're competing with people who have committed their lives to that one tiny little part of the industry and it's so important for you to realize that these people are so so passionate about that one little thing. So if you want to compete with them, you got to make sure that you are just as passionate. And if you don't want to compete with them and you want to be a generalist, then you need to know what the level is, that there's people in all those places that can do those things. If you want to participate in the scene, you can, of course, and there's always room for great musicians. It's important for you to recognize whether you want to compete on those extremely specific high levels or you want to be a generalist that can participate in all of them and be known as a trombone player that can do anything rather than the artist that gets called for who they are, what they contribute. So you want to be called as a generalist or for the one thing that you do the best. I think it's just important to check it out and think about it and just sort out where you want to head in your career. Every Friday, create, connect, repeat here on the YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. Subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you next week.